we want to create the second chart which will be more like a kpi chart because it will show us how many persons performed above average and how many persons performed below average we select executives hold down the control key on your keyboard and select benchmark you can see we are using the executives and the benchmark okay then go to insert and we click on the same clustered column charts you can see it gives us this particular chart so we click on this so click on the axis and we'll, by the time we click on the arrow by the axis we don't need the vertical axis correct we don't need the chart title correct in the grid lines we don't need the horizontal we only want the major vertical okay and we want the data labels to be included so let's click on the data labels one thing we don't need these names to appear because we merge these two charts and we want the values to come from here what we can do to that is if we come to the axis this is one of the items in the axis so come to axis click the arrow go to more options go to labels scroll down to where you have the label position click the arrow and then we say none so we don't have these values there again now the next thing is the actual values so the actual values you can see here is showing minus 27.3 minus 8.3 minus minus this is the actual value that we're using creating the chart but this is the value that we want to show so to change that we just click on any of the data labels right click on it and go to format data labels now where we have the value from cells click on that and we select this option and we say okay okay that's the value from the cells we uncheck the value here uncheck should header lines to check now we have the correct values 22.742 and all that is distributed good now the next thing is we want to color code this so for example for now we want to use green up and then red down right click on any of the bars and then say format data series come to the color option we have this button that says invert if negative so we'll click on that button and we come up here and we click on solid fill so immediately you click on solid field you now have two options so the blue one is for the top so we can say this one is green and then the down one we can say this one is red so we have this chart